They've been looking for a while for a home downtown Oakville. It was very specific for them because they wanted a family home, but something that was more a bungalow style with three young children. And the idea was to keep this like 1950s vibe bungalow and turn it into a more modern mid-century home. The overall vibe and scheme for the home was to keep it neutral, but also warm throughout. So like wide plank oak flooring, you know, the kitchen and the main area, we use a lot of dark wood tones mixing with light. They really wanted an open concept, somewhere where they could entertain, hang out with the family, but also have guests over. So we added big sliders across the back and on the front. The idea for that was to create a lot of natural light throughout the main area and just to bring that feeling of nature inside and a nice 14 foot dining table along the back, which really helped with family dinners and with friends. So we started there and then we just kind of took that coloring and the millwork tones throughout and used it on the bookshelves. We created that mid-century feel with the tile also on the fireplace. We really wanted to emphasize this space. So we decided to vault the ceilings and just to create that open airy space in the center of the home. With these clients, the wife is a natural path. She has a clinic downtown Oakville, and it was very important for her for us to use natural elements throughout the home, even starting with the drywall. The drywall is something that obviously surrounds the interior of a home, and for her, something that didn't off-gas and let off chemicals for her family was very important. We also use natural oak flooring. Any kind of countertops were completely eco-friendly. We also added a walk-in pantry, and the idea for that was to just have that overflow from the kitchen, but also we added the door there so that the kids, or if they're entertaining, could go into the pool, come in, grab a drink, but also easy access to the powder room, as it's very close by. The powder room, we wanted to keep a really, like, just neutral scheme, to bring in that little bit of that mid-century Scandinavian feel. We did a beautiful stone floating vanity, some beautiful warm gold accents, just like a little bit of a neutral feel, but something that was dramatic in its own way. The principal bedroom we wanted to have on the front of the home. We get a lot of light from that side and we kind of wrap the whole front with windows. So just that, like, that open airy feeling for them, we added a fireplace, a nice walk-in closet, and then an ensuite as well. The ensuite, we also brought in that neutral tone, nice oak vanity, but also keeping with that terrazzo feel, that mid-century, so we added that on the floors. And then we mixed it up a little bit. We did add a lot of golds and blacks in the home, but here we did a nice polished nickel just to warm up the space, make it a little bit different for them, but also adding a little bit of gold details on the light sconces. The three bedrooms across the back were for their three children. We worked together with Kristen Pereira and we collaborated with her to really create the look and vibe throughout the home with the furniture and the decor. For the main bathroom, we wanted this to be a little bit more of a fun space. We changed up the tile a little bit, it did a nice pattern, but we kept it very still neutral, black and white with a wood tone vanity. This bathroom as well, we were able to get a standalone shower, a double sink vanity, and a bathtub, which was great for our main bath. For me, bungalows, I, I grew up in a bungalow downtown Burlington most of my life, and it, just the charm of it, I just, I love the appeal. So taking that feel and creating more of a mid-century modern vibe on it for this home was just exciting. You know, growing up in that atmosphere and then being able to kind of give that to another family was really nice.